My husband, David Gurevich, was a doctor. It was 1944. He was making a house call on a patient, and the wife of the President of the United States opened the door. Mrs. Roosevelt formed some kind of attachment to him. In 1945, the following year, President Roosevelt died. And one day, David had a, a call in his office, Mrs. Roosevelt. She said, I'm moving back to New York, and I shall need a doctor. The first time David took me to dinner at Mrs. Roosevelt's house, I understood that this was not just a very pleasant doctor-patient relationship, but that it was quite a deep friendship. I was always proud to be an American when I was with her because she represented the best that America could be. People knew that she was a powerful woman and that she was a humanist. She said what she thought, she stood up for what she believed in, and she was brave. David had in a file cabinet a host of the letters that she wrote him. It was very personal, really. It's reading someone's heart. My husband was really honored by these letters. A woman with this fastidious nature who met everyone in the world, that she could find one person that she could trust like that. To be a good doctor, you have to understand humanity. She got this from him. And I was very proud of him for being her friend like that. This book that I wrote about her, I didn't speculate. I said what I really knew, and I believe that without knowing this story, the entire life of Eleanor Roosevelt would not be understood.